everyone, welcome to my kitchen. Um, today I'm having one of those days um, where I'm not feeling very creative and I don't have a lot of food in the fridge and uh, I gotta try to figure out how to put uh, some food on the table. So Joshua thought it would be a great idea to video how I do that and I've got this great resource that I'm really, really excited about, the uh, Flavor Bible. So I'm gonna see if I can put this new book to work. So let's go over to the fridge and see what we have to eat. No judging, people. No judging. All right. Um, my vegetable drawer. We really don't have much left. I've got some uh, radishes um, that are a little on the sad side. Half a head of uh, organic cabbage. Some sad stalks of organic celery and a bag of mushrooms. Some green onions. A shriveling apple couple shriveling oranges and some lettuce and then a whole bunch of fresh herbs. I have a basil, mint, and cilantro. Um, some sorry, mayor lemons, some tomatoes. So that's it. And I, I do have some meat in the fridge. I also have like a chicken, pork, really that's about it. Chicken and pork. Okay. So what I did is I flagged these so I could flip to them quickly so I don't bore you. But uh, so I thought, okay, we'll have red cabbage. I probably should use that up. And um, so apples is actually one of those major yummy bolded words saying these two go great together. And I actually have a shriveling apple. So that's awesome. I can use it up and it won't go bad. And then I just kind of look through here. I'm like, um, uh, fat. I got duck fat. Oh, I don't have duck fat, but I do have lots of bacon fat. So that's good and uh, lemon juice, I got lots of lemons going bad, a pancetta, uh, poultry, perfect. I'll use some chicken, and I, then I go down to flavor affinities just to see what they're suggesting, red cabbage, apples, cider vinegar, perfect. So what I'll do is just put that all into um, a baking tray, throw it all in the oven, put some chicken uh, pieces on top, and then cook it. So that's gonna be our dinner. And so how great is that? I just love this little book that I just used up a whole bunch of food that was gonna go bad and I didn't even have to think about it. And I'm sure it's gonna turn out awesome. Oh, and I also have um, some of these little fancy onions that I just pulled out, like three rotten ones out of the bag. So these, uh, what are they called? Cipollini uh, onions. So I'm gonna throw those into the dish and I think the whole thing drizzled with like some maple syrup, a little bacon fat, some chicken, apples, it's gonna be delicious. So um, I'm gonna show you how to put that all together. So preset your oven to 375 and um, then I'm gonna pick my way through these onions. Some of them have gone bad and I've got a little bit of uh, hot water boiling and I'm gonna dump that hot water over these onions to help me remove the peel. So I'm gonna set that aside for about five minutes. Then I'm gonna chop the cabbage while I'm waiting. If you have a whole cabbage, I would recommend doing so. There's, uh, this is just so yummy after it comes out of the oven. The uh, apple, I'm gonna throw that into the mix as well. And you can actually leave them in big chunks or you can chop them up into smaller pieces, whatever you like. Kicking it freestyle. And then I'm just gonna make a little lemon garlic paste. It's gonna go uh, into the chicken, so kind of between the skin and where the meat is, we're gonna tuck this flavorful, yummy paste in. So some garlic, a little fresh ground pepper, uh, salt, thyme, and then uh, lemon. And I'm using preserved lemon, but you could just use a couple teaspoons of preserved, or sorry, uh, lemon zest instead. Uh, but if you are using the preserved lemons, you'll want to remove the pulp and the pith, and you're just going to use the peel, uh, and you'll need a sharp knife to do that. And um, I'm using about a, a, a full half lemon here. Um, and then just chop it up real fine. Now if you're just going to use lemon zest, you may want to add a little more salt than I did. I adjusted just because preserved lemon is is salty already. Now the uh, onions are ready to go and you'll see how easy the skin just peels right off, uh, which is a nice little trick because dealing with these little onions is never a lot of fun if you've got to peel a whole bunch by hand. So I'm gonna make my way through that and then I'm just gonna throw that on top of the cabbage apple mixture 
They're all gonna bake together. And then I'll make a little dressing for it. I'm using baking drippings left over from breakfast this morning. Uh, but you can use olive oil too. And so I'm gonna add a few tablespoons of maple syrup and uh, the same amount of apple cider vinegar. And just mix that together and then you can pour that on top of the cabbage and apples and onions. And that'll just give it a really nice flavor. So I've got my chicken. I'm just gonna kind of put some of that paste in between the skin and, and uh, the meat. And that one came right off, but some of them you might have to create a little slit. And then you just sneak your fingers in between the two and create a pocket for um, the spices. And just grab a teaspoon or so at a time and then you just kind of push that in, making sure it's well coated and covered and and just put a little salt and pepper at the skin level and you can actually add a little paprika too if you wanted. And then we're just gonna put that all in one pan and, and bake it. So it's a nice one pot dish that'll bake for about 45 minutes. So it smells wonderful, it looks wonderful. Uh, it cooked for 45 minutes at 375. And uh, the real take home on this is not so much this recipe, uh, you can make it of course, I guarantee it's delicious, but more that there are resources and tools out there uh, to help you use all those random little leftovers so you don't have to throw out the one random apple that's going bad or the half a head of cabbage. Um, you can put those all things together and just make an amazing meal. So thanks for joining me, we'll see you next week.